You want to support me? Go to Nene Marie 37 on IG and purchase a signed copy of my book. That's how you support me. Make sure you smash that like button. Yo! It's your boy Trench News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the real Mod Squad, man. If you ain't following my mods, make sure you follow their ass at the end of the video. Remember, if you got anything extra, I said extra. Food, clothes, hygiene, man. Take it outside. And give it to somebody less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless, man. Hey, let's say the kids, man, they dying at a rapid race. That's the least we could do, man, is try to teach the kids don't be like us or go through the same shit that we went through. You know what I'm talking about? That's why we teach them so they won't go through the same stuff that we're going through. With that being said, man, let's say the women, the the the, the kids, the elderly, the civilians, the mans who ain't, ain't in the streets, which is civilians, the neutrons, whatever you want to call them. Um, I got two stories today, man. I got Lil Reese and Lil Reese, Lil Mister, and the Chief Keith situation, like him coming to town and shit, and um, and what's going on with that. Then I got the Lil Dirt and in India, man, the shooting, the paperwork. Shout out to Kimion Wozy, man. If y'all ain't been to Kimion Wozy page, he be doing like um the foyers and stuff like that. We ain't got the foyer on Lil Dirt with the gun case in Atlanta with Vine. But they do got the case with um at Lil Dirk House with India. We finna get into it, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Send this to Reddit, man. And to so it can get around. I need y'all to smash that like button. All right, we're gonna start off with Lil Reese first, man. Lil Reese, um, this Lil Mister man, and he put Vine in a he put Vine in a video and he he had wrote over it like um he had wrote and his thing the caption. You know, him and Lil Dirk, man, they look like they fruit, man. Lil Dirk had um mentioned um mood, um, less friends, more money. And then Reese reposted that and said mood. Then Lil Reese, you know what I'm saying, said F Lil Mister. And he put the video with Vine and said, Man, I told my homie, man, I don't give I don't give a if that's my homie cousin. F him. Whatever y'all know what Vine said about Lil Mister. Lil Reese reposted it. Um Chubbs reposted it. Um, Puda uh, reposted it, and they reposted it like, you know, you done fucked up, right? That's what they, that's what they were saying. So, you know, they probably mad at Dirk, man. He he growing, and when you grow, man, you gonna lose friends and everything, man. That's how Dirk, that's how he is, man. Dirk tired of being in trouble and all that shit. Um, so Lil Reese, he disrespected him. Why did he disrespect Lil Mister and Lil Mister be gone this long? First of all. They too far apart to be ops anyway. But Lil, Lil Reese, he was with um JoJo Real. But if you know Lil Mister, man, Lil Mister wasn't the killer guy. He wasn't none of that, man. He was around. He probably a fight and all that shit, man. But I ain't never heard nothing about Mister. I done been around Mister. And, um, you know, Mister was cool as hell, bro. He was cool. He was, you could tell, like, he from the trenches. He part of them, but he, he was over there, like, he in the hood and shit like that. But just because everybody from these hoods, bro, don't mean they was out there killing shit. Now, nah, he was rapping. He was rapping about it. But like I said, bro, if anybody would have got caught in a drill scene, and anybody, y'all get in the comments if y'all really know Lil Mister. Lil Mister could have got caught before anybody. You can literally ride up 75th, 2013, 14. 15 and see if you don't see nobody from Wooga Real, you're gonna see Lil Mister Man walking up and down. He tall than a motherfucker. So Lil Reese had this um Dirk cousin. Do I think Dirk cut? Do I think Lil Dirk care about that? Nah, he don't care because he was still with Vaughn and Lil Reese. I mean Lil Dirk didn't disrespect the Lil Mister. Say he was playing cops and robbers. He been knew his cousin. He he always knew his cousin was a cop because every time. Every time they play cops and robbers, he'll be want to be the cop and he'll want to be the robber. Some shit like that. You know the subliminals. But they is into it. But if Keith come, Lil Reese will be on the stage, man. He will be with him. I don't think Keith coming, but Lil Reese will be with him. I think they getting it all built up, like the hype. That's what I think. That I think everybody got a project out and everybody, hey, look, we finna say something to each other. And, and we're going to get it going. I think they all planning this shit. Like they all going. Everybody realize that. You know, if you come together and make everybody believe and will them in, it's a bigger bag going on. And then, you know, like I said, GBE said they ain't denying no rumors about the situation with the with the AI voice or whatever y'all want to say it is fake. They said they ain't denying no rumors or they ain't trying to clear up none. So basically, shit, whatever that thing say, we said it. Bottom line, or that's how we feel. All right, then we got Lil Durk in India, man. Lil Durk said he don't trust nobody at his crib, and I understand now. 
um the guys who Lil Dirk and them in India was shooting at, they end up jumping out their shoes. They left one shoe and two Air Force Ones, man, Lowe's, man. On, hey, we the only niggas from the city, man, who really wear Air Force Ones like that, bro. So, you know, Dirk probably got a sense of who did it. He don't trust nobody. He got a sense. They say India unloaded and Dirk got down on the ground like he was a sharpshooter, man, and was just blowing, unloading. Say the guys ran through a trail from Dirk house and the a, and a feds came. The police came to the scene. You know, DJ Academics told us this, but we never seen the paperwork because DJ Academics, the one who broke it, that they was out, the feds was outside Lil Dirt crib. In this situation, Lil Dirt got self-defense, man. Hey, hey, I know it sound bad, man. Like, how you get self-defense? Hey, look, I said the same shit, too, because I know if you a felon, period, you ain't supposed to be around no guns. But hey, hey, even it's a misdemeanor. If you around a state, it's a misdemeanor at least. But... They gave Lil Durk self-defense, man. The paperwork is on Kimmy on Wozy page, bro. Lil Durk can't go to jail. The feds was aware that Lil Durk did a shooting. They was aware that India shot. And um, it sounded like they recovered the guns and everything, bro. And and this in the report. So um, there it go, man. We ain't got the King Von situation. Um, the King Von and Lil Durk. And um, they they report. We ain't get that. That's sealed. But we did, Kimmy on Wozy and um, Chirac Rez, they was able to, to obtain this. Now, with King Von Brother, man, King Von Brother, I've been saying the list going a lot. King Von Brother, and um, he going at Keith Nam, he heard that song, he don't care if it's fake or real. King Von Brother speaking out, man, and he going at them, man. Now, whoever did the AI voice shit situation with Keith, if it is AI, man, they some cold individuals, man. They need to go and get them a job. And, and, and try to be creative, man. Graphic arts or whatever whatever you want to call that field, man. They code. Uh, to put a song like that together and, you know, put it what he's saying. And, you know, if, if they said it and then they wrote with the rap and then they put it in the AI and then made it like he keep, keep said it. But I seen Drake do it. I seen Drake. Um, He wrote a diss and he put it in Snoop Dogg voice. And Snoop Dogg was pissed. So, yeah, man. Those are two topics, man. Lil Reese disrespecting Lil Mr. Man. I don't understand why they still disrespecting the dead and shit. It's played out as old, man, for anybody to be disrespecting the dead. All I got to say to you, man, is two things we know for certain. One thing I know for certain, and it's facts. Everybody got a due date, man. Everybody got to go, bro. So you around here playing with people deaf now, they're going to be playing with your deaf later. But I think it's all in the um, cahoots about everything that's dropping now and all them getting into it and everything. I think um, Keith will bring 300 out if he do pop up. He will be bringing um, 300 out and all them, man. They're going to make sure he's safe if he here. But I don't think Keith should come, man. Enjoy your bag, Keith. You know, you they, they look down on you. 